I want to welcome Miss Benjamin. She don't need any uh, introduction. Yes. Oh, good afternoon, everyone, members of the head table. A special good afternoon to you. I am totally elated to be a part of this forum simply because I have been preaching the very gospel to my students. I even took them to the rigors. The last extension class we had last semester, and I had them do a role play. Because this information of having ex gay workers work with coconut cultivation is something that I'm very passionate about. Where Mr. Raymond, Dr. Raymond Hardy has got the idea from, I do not know. I'm about <laughs> but it is it is some it is my baby. It has been something that I read literally took my students to do a survey on it to find out who from the estates are interested in working on the sugarcane cultivation, previous work from the sugarcane cultivation to work on coconut cultivation. And I am so excited that he's brought this idea, he's had all the links because I really did attend one of our sessions that we had on the vision, um, UG's vision for Guyana. And there were several things that was discussed there and I was sitting there and I was wondering to myself, how do we pull this off to grow, uh, to grow coconut? And we have people who have lost their jobs. What role does the university play? And I've asked my students two questions. The first one, and I've asked them for this semester in my agribusiness class is well who are you and what do we get when we get to and what problems do you intend to solve after you would have left the university not what do you want to become but what problems are you going to solve because when we think of the problems in our society if we're not prepared to address them then the poorest of the poor cannot become rich so we will always remain poor and so it has been my challenge to the students to look for opportunities, to seek them out, and to say what they can do, how they will address it. I want to thank Mr. Amnan Pasad for his initiative of packaging because we've talked about um, post-harvest handling strategy, how we can improve that. And so here at the university, yes, we are power empowering our students. We're asking them to think of what they can do. And it is a blessing project be burdened here with this launching because our farmers really they do need help. One of the things that we found out from that survey is that most of our farmers who are producing our foods are not literate. How then are they able to read the package and the instruction? How then will they be able to follow the exact recommendation of all these fancy things that we bring to them to use? And so, yes, we will end up with food poisoning and cancer and several other diseases. So, it is time for our students not only to take the information and go to work, but to go out there and actually practice what they preach. And one of the university initiatives is turning academics into entrepreneurs. And so, in order for us to do that, we don't have to, to just teach the skill or the practical but we have to ensure that you have the new world and we equip our students properly. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for the initiative. I'm so happy that this is the class that is here today. I, I must say thank you very much to Mr. Nahambasad. Yes, they were upset with me for, for putting them to the wall of this, but I'm, I'm so grateful that they have the opportunity of listening to someone other than me bringing all these things to life. Thank you very much.